Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today we're going to continue to talk about some of the most missed types of questions that are found on the math section of the GED. So let's get started. One of the questions that people miss most often involves graphing different points on a coordinate plane. So I'm going to go through and give you a couple different types of examples of those problems you would see. So here they ask you to graph uh, six different points here. And when you're graphing a point, they always give you an x and a y coordinate. The x coordinate is always first, the y coordinate is always second. And if you see in this graph, the x line is going left and right, the y line is going up and down. So you always go left or right first, up or down second. So let's get started with these points. The first point is a is 2 comma 4. So on my x value, I'm going to find 2 here, and I'm going to go up to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to draw a dot. And I'm going to label it A. Next, I have B, which is negative 1, 3. So on my x line, I'm going to go to negative 1, which is over here. And then on my y line, I'm going to go up to 3. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to label it B. Next, I have C, which is negative 3, 5. So I'm going to go to negative 3 and then up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to call it C. Point D, I have negative 4, negative 4. So on my x value, I'm going to go to negative 4 first, which is here. And I'm going to go down to negative 4 on the y. I'm going to call it D. Continuing on, I'm going to go to point E, which is 5, 0. So on my x value, I'm going to go to 5 over here. And then 0 means I'm not going up or down any. I'm just going to stay right on that 5 and draw my point. It's a point exactly on the x-axis. Last point is F, which is 0, 6. 0 means I'm not going left or right at all. I'm just going to stay right at 0. And I'm going to go up to 6, which is all the way up here. point F. So that's an example of graphing some points. Let's move on with a little bit trickier of a problem. This one says determine the slope of the line formed by the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6. So when you get to graphing questions, um, slope is a very common thing to be asked. You can either find slope based on a graph you're given, based on two points, or based on an equation. When you're given an equation, I always like to put it in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. The reason I do that is because if I can put it into this form, I know that m is my slope. So whatever number m is, that's my slope. So let's see if we can rearrange this equation to get into this form. So I'm going to write it down right here. Now if you notice in the slope intercept, the y is all by itself on the left side of the equal sign. So I need to get my y term all by itself on the left side of the equal sign. What that means is I need to get rid of this, negative, or this 2x over here. And the way I do that is I can move it over to the other side. To move things from one side to the other of the equal sign, you just do the opposite of what's there. So this is a positive 2x. I'm going to subtract 2x or make it a negative 2x from the left and also the right. Because what you do to one side, you have to also do to the other. So this cancels out over here. I get 3y equals 6 minus 2x. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to get y all by itself. No number in front of it or anything. So in our example, we have a 3 in front of it, 3 times y. Well, again, we got to get rid of that 3, so do the opposite of multiplying by 3. I'm going to divide by 3. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. So what happens now is the 3's cancel out over here. I get y equals 6 divided by 3 is 2, and minus 2 thirds x. 2 thirds is just a fraction. It doesn't really reduce, so I can just leave it as 2 thirds. Now, one of the things you'll notice is that in our example here, we have our x term last. But in the original equation, y equals mx plus b, 
our x term is kind of right after the equal sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch the order of these two, keeping the signs in front the way they are. So I'm going to change this to y equals minus 2 thirds x, I'm going to write first. And then this 2 is positive, so I'm going to make it a positive 2. You can switch the order of terms on one side of an equal sign as long as you keep the symbol that's in front of them, plus or minus. Now if I look at the y equals mx plus b in my equation, m is the number in front of x, which in this case is negative 2 thirds. So I know that has to be my slope. So when you get to these types of problems with graphing, either points or trying to find the slope, I hope this information helps you out and makes it a little bit easier for these types of problems. will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.